we're going to have a look at dividing with exponents. If we're asked to simplify something like this, as always with exponents, if we simply write out what they mean, we'll soon get a very clear idea of what's going on. So we know p to the power of p to the power of 5 is p times p times p times p times p. And of course, p cubed is just p times p times p. We can then go ahead and cancel three of the p's on the top with the three p's on the bottom. And we can see then that what we're left with are two p's multiplied together, which is p squared. Now notice the way we could have figured out that it was p squared is by saying we know we had five p's on the top and three of those were cancelled with the three p's on the bottom. So we got to the two by saying there were five p's on the top but three of them got cancelled with the three p's on the bottom and that's what gave us the p squared. And as before we ultimately want to be in a position where we don't have to write it out and we simply can say if we've got p to the 5 over p three to the power of 3 it's just going to be p to the 5 minus 3 because we can picture in our heads the 5 p's multiplied together on the top being cancelled with the 3 p's on the bottom leaving us with 5 minus 3 which is 2 p's multiplied together. So that's our rule for dividing. p to the m over p to the n is going to be equal to p to the m minus n. And the one thing we're just also going to specify here is that we don't want to be doing this if p is 0. Why not? Because division by 0 is undefined. So we just want to exclude the case where p is 0. It'll be fine for any other number as the base, except, of course, for 0. OK, so why don't you quickly try these, pause the video, and simplify those three. OK, so the first one, very simple. It's just p to the 17 minus 9, because we've got 17 p's on the top, and 9 p's multiplied together on the bottom, and those 9 p's on the bottom will cancel out 9 of the p's on the top. So you'll be left with 17 minus 9 p's multiplied together. So it's going to be p to the 8. Uh, q to the 6 over q. Well, of course, you remember q is just q to the power of 1. So this is going to be q to the 6 minus 1, which is q to the 5. And the fact that you've got, in the last one, a negative p as the base doesn't matter at all. What you're going to have then is just its negative p um, to the power of 15 minus 11, which is equal to negative p to the power of 4. And if you wanted to, you could actually say that negative p to the power of 4, because you can have a negative times a negative times a negative times a negative, it's going to end up being positive. So you could equally well have written p to the power of 4. 